left me in the worst way Heart torn, leaving blood stains All over the day Won't cough, and I can never scrub them off Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought for a change we can jump straight into the video. I'm starting out with the L'Oreal Anti Redness Primer to prep my skin for foundation and help counteract the redness I got going on. I'm just applying that all over and while that is sinking in I'm going to begin to fill in my brows. I'm using a new brow pomade from Morphe Brushes. This was released a few weeks ago. I briefly touched base on it on Instagram. I think it is a great product in terms of the pigmentation and the durability, but the texture itself is quite weak. So personally, I think it will be a bit tricky to use if you are a beginner as the product tends to slip and slide. Once I have entered the slug brow life, I'm going to begin to clean and crisp up the edges. I'm using an angled eye brush and some foundation to do this. Concealer will work just as well. For my base, I decided to rock the Revlon Insta Filter Foundation. It does have a built-in sponge applicator to help blend out the product. I, however, can never go too far from my beauty blender, so I'm just going to reach for this today instead. I'm using dabbing motions to get the most from that coverage. I have really been loving the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix 24 hour concealers. They are very creamy and have a very decent coverage to them. I am using the shade NW20 which at the moment looks a little bit too yellow for me but trust me once I blend it out it matches perfectly. And using that same old beauty blender I'm just going to dab it out. I decided to give the Cover Effects Glitter Drops another go. When I swatched these, I couldn't believe the quality of them, but for some reason I cannot get them to perform as well on my face. Once I blended it out, it didn't actually do much and you couldn't even tell that it was there. So it's a little bit of a shame. I am going to have to experiment other ways to really make this bad boy pop. If you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know. To set my lids and under eye area in place, I'm applying this translucent powder by Inglot. I've had this what feels like forever and I've only recently started using it because I'm out of my Laura Mercier powder. In all honesty, this is such a great powder and I really should have started using it earlier. Once our lids are set, we can start to begin blending in eyeshadow. I'm trying out this new Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and I'm picking up this shade on a Sigma E36 blending brush and I'm just going to blend this back and forth into my crease. This color payoff is insane and there's minimal fallout too which I absolutely love. I only went in with a couple of layers and this was the result. Next, I'm picking up this matte brown shade and blending it on my outer corner for some depth and definition. I'm using a Sigma E30 pencil brush to do this and just applying and blending it up into my crease and then once there isn't a lot of product left on that brush, I'm blending it up even higher towards my brow bone. I have been a fan of the Huda Beauty shadows for quite some time, but these ones seem to be on a whole new level. I am absolutely loving the creaminess, the pigmentation, the texture. It is just that one step up. Be sure to always return to your original blending brush to blend out the edges so there's no harsh line. For my lid shade, I couldn't help but pick up this gorgeous champagne color. I'm using a Sigma E57 brush and placing that directly on my lid. This shade did provide a little bit more fallout than the other colors, so just make sure to tap off the excess. To highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm picking up this shade from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and because this shade is matte, you can afford to bring it further down to help hide any eyeshadow that is too high up. To set the rest of my face in place, I'm patting in the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder using a big fluffy blending brush. It is important to dab and not rub, as rubbing can move that foundation and concealer that's already there. I'm picking up more of that powder on a flat edge sponge and I'm running this on my outer corner to crisp and clean up the shadow. This trick works wonders, I'm still gobsmacked that a translucent powder can do this, it is such a life changer. For highlighter, I'm using this shade from the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette and I'm applying it on my cheekbones, upper lip and the top of my nose. I am a bit of a highlighter fanatic, if you guys can't already tell, so I am a little bit disappointed at the colour payoff from these shades. 
I feel like you really need to spend time building the product up. It isn't just an instant glow. To warm up my face, I'm buffing in the Too Faced bronzer into my cheekbones, down my neck so there's not a sudden stop in foundation, and my forehead as well to piece the bronzed look together. The weather in Christchurch has been incredible lately, and I have a feeling that we are going to have a great summer, which my skin definitely needs because your girl is pasty. I wanted to add a little bit of color back into my skin, so I'm applying this blush by MAC onto the apples of my cheeks. It's very difficult to overdo this particular product because the pigment is barely there, so don't be shy to go in with a heavy hand. To complete the eye makeup, I'm combining these two shades and placing this on my lower lash line. And while the glue is becoming tacky on my falsies, I decided to fill in my lips. I'm using a lip liner for the first time in absolute ages. This one is by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm just going to outline my lips just to give it a little bit of depth and an ombre effect. And then to fill them in, I'm using this red lipstick from Urban Decay. And once the lashes are on, I'm sorry I didn't even tell you guys what lashes I was applying. These are by House of Lashes in the style Allure Light. Anyway, so once those are on, I'm just going to run some mascara on my lower lashes. And to make sure that everything stays in place and it lasts all day long, I'm spritzing the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray all over quite generously. This gives a very refreshing feel to the look as well. That is the end of the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.